Hello everyone and welcome to this week's plugin quick tip tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how you can debug your plugins on your Mac using Xcode and this will allow you to do things like set breakpoints, check out the values of variables as you're going through certain portions, and do all the normal debugging things you need to fix all of your bugs. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel, and down in the description you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with some of our very awesome and knowledgeable members and much more. And also in the description, you can join our channel and help us out financially by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. And also in the description, check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to check out some of the other products and tools I've worked on. All right, so inside of the SDK guide itself, there is a description of how you can debug on Windows and Mac separately. So because I don't usually debug much on Mac, I'm just gonna go through the process and show you how easy it is to actually set up debugging also on Mac. Um, so you do of course need to be using Xcode, which if you're not, you definitely should be uh, for After Effects and Premiere plugins. So we need to load up a project in Xcode that we're going to want to debug. In this case, I just have this simple background fire effect, which basically applies a very strong blur to uh, an image and it creates sort of a background image representative of that image. So I'll open up that project in the project navigator and I'm going to use that to debug. Then we need to go to choose product, sheem, edit sheem. So we'll go to product. And this is sort of the configuration of how you're going to build your plugin. Um, in this case, for example, you can see that I am building specifically for any Mac, which supports the newer Apple Silicon or the M1 support. Um, but you can also do, of course, my Mac if you're using an older version. Um, but here you can set up what you're building for, the build configuration, um, if you're going to run an executable when you build this, and then some other things like waiting for the executable to be launched. Um, we can also put in arguments and some more advanced things, which we don't really need to worry about. For our testing purposes and our debugging purposes for plugins, it's actually quite simple. So once we're under edit scheme, which we are, we'll go under run in the info tab for executable, and we'll choose our host application uh, that the plugin will be running with. So this might be After Effects or Premiere, and in this case it will be. So we'll go to the executable and other, and then we will navigate to the Adobe application we want to test in. In my case, I'll select uh, After Effects 2022.app, and let's see if it has any more specific instructions after we've chosen our app, uh, host application. And then from there, we can either hit the play button to build and run the current scheme, or you can launch the application and later choose debug attach to process. Okay, so that's awesome. Even if you have the application already open, you can attach it to there and have it work. But in this case, we're going to start it from scratch because we have it uh, closed. So now when I have my project all set up, I'm gonna hit the start scheme button and a build only device can be used to run this target. I'm going to try and build it on just my Mac and see if that makes a difference when I hit the play button here. And it may be that because I don't have an Apple Silicon uh, computer that I may not be able to directly test when I'm building that. Um, so I think just trying my Mac, which will support whatever Mac you have installed essentially, is the way to go with this. You can see we're still in the building process, but no errors yet, which is a good sign. And if this does go through, we should also see After Effects launch. Okay, so I think the issue here is actually because I'm linking uh, these uh, AE scripts licensing information to my build, which means I should be able to go back to any Mac and then build and test it. Um, so once I remove those things that are referencing that the AE scripts API, uh, which I don't want to use in this case, I think once I remove those references, we can then build. You can see we have attaching to After Effects backgroundifier, and now we have After Effects launching in the background. Um, so always make sure that, of course, you make sure your links are all set up properly or remove any links that you don't need. And then it should be able to attach to the program. There's no need to sort of run as admin um, because there is no admin running like that in, in on Mac. So that is different from Windows. And it will take a second for my slow 2013 MacBook Air to load After Effects. 
but while it's loading, I can actually go into my code here and let's say I want to set a breakpoint during part of my code and see it come up. Well, we have a second while that's loading. So I think what I'm going to do is set a breakpoint on the global setup. And if you're not familiar, the global setup is run when we first uh, apply our plugin to something. So we can just select any of these and set a breakpoint right here by clicking on the line number. And then we'll still just wait for After Effects to load. All right, so I've actually had to be extremely patient because while using the screen recording, uh, as well as trying to hold up a bunch of Adobe programs and Xcode communicating with them at the same time, seems to be a bit too much for my computer to handle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use the second method that was recommended on the website, and that is to launch the application first and then use the attach to process uh, feature. So I'm going to go ahead and launch After Effects first and see if it can launch faster than having to have it connected to Xcode and then we'll attach the process and see if it works better. And it did seem to load a bit faster and a bit more stable. So I'm going to import some footage into After Effects, create a new composition with it. This time I appear to actually be getting an image. Um, when I had it linked directly, I did not seem to get an image. Now back in Xcode, We'll go to debug, attach to process, and we'll find Adobe After Effects or Premiere. You can also use uh, the PID, which is the kind of uh, application ID. So I'll hit After Effects. Okay, we're just gonna have to cut this in to the end of where I just left off, which... Okay, so honestly, I've been trying for the past maybe 30 minutes to actually screen record and do this debug process at the same time. But I think it's just too much for my little 2013 MacBook Air, which I think only has two or four gigs of RAM. So I'm just going to explain exactly how these two methods work. Method number one is as we set up in your Sheem, edit Sheem, just setting up the executable. If you wanna launch After Effects or you wanna launch Premiere and debug stuff there, set up some breakpoints, uh, do the Sheem through that application and have it load up. Whenever you hit that breakpoint, it'll pop up Xcode and you will be able to debug that. And the other method, which is also described in the guide, is if you already have the program launched, which in my case I thought might be better because I'm having trouble launching After Effects and screen recording and all this other stuff simultaneously. So the other option is to go to uh, debug attach to process and this will get a whole list of all your processes on your computer you can select after effects or premiere you can also give it the specific process name or uh, process id which is specific to each application running and once you do that you can then of course just apply your effect uh, set a breakpoint for the global setup or inside of your render function or something and then once you get there you can view these values in Xcode see all the thread timings all the normal debug information you would but in my case my computer is just a bit too weak to but that's gonna do it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed that's how you can debug plugins on your Mac by two methods whether you connect your Sheem directly to it or you connect your debug process to an already open application if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out uh, my GitHub where you can follow us for coding updates, as well as Instagram down there to follow us for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get up with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you're not already a member of the channel, you can support us there as well by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks. And also check out the links in the description to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to check out some other cool stuff I create. And it took as long as me to do my outro for this to actually show up, but this is kind of what the debugging will look like when it works successfully on your computer. And then you can set up breakpoints and see all the statistics. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.